What's up guys, in today's video we're going to be talking about what is the best weapon in Season 2. It's currently the most overpowered weapon in Warzone, and it actually got buffed coming into this season. If you guys do enjoy this video, find it helpful, informative, whatever, please do remember to give it a like, subscribe if you would like to see more, and also if you did not know, I stream every day on Twitch, it will be the first link in the description below. So we're going to be talking about the AUG today. This was already a top tier weapon in Warzone last season, but coming into this season they buffed the bullet velocity a little bit, and that's very important. Because that was the main distinguishing like factor between the AUG and the M16. I'm sure if you guys play a lot of Warzone, you know towards the end of last season, a tactical rifle and the FFAR became like the meta loadout. Most players were using the M16, some players were still using the DMR-14, and then some players were also using the AUG. The M16 and the AUG are very similar, but the M16 used to have a higher bullet velocity, which just made it a little bit more convenient and nicer to use. Now they have the same bullet velocity. In Season 2, they buffed up the AUG's bullet velocity to match that of the M16. So now they're equal in that category. So you might be asking yourself, what are the other stats that separate these two weapons? What are the differences between the AUG and the M16? The main difference now is going to be that the AUG has a higher fire rate than the M16. They have practically the same damage. They kill in the same shots. They have the same bullet velocity. The M16 has slightly less recoil, but I feel like you can kind of chalk that up to the AUG's higher fire rate. Since you're shooting the gun faster, the recoil is going to be more severe. But your DPS is going to be much higher with the AUG because you're going to be shooting out those bursts faster. With the Strike Team Barrel, which is what I'm going to recommend using, it feels almost like it shoots as fast as you can pull the trigger. There is a burst delay, but it is very, very minor, and you can shoot it incredibly fast. If you're used to using the M16... The M16's burst delay is very, very noticeable when compared to the AUG with a strike team. So if you guys haven't hopped on the AUG yet, make sure you try it out. It's insane. I think it's the best weapon in the game right now. Obviously, Agency Suppressor is currently bugged, and I will comment down on this video and pin it once they fix the Agency Suppressor because then I'm going to be changing my build and will use the Agency Suppressor to get an even higher bullet velocity, which is going to make the gun feel even more consistent and even easier to use. So that's the main difference between the AUG and the M16. The AUG shoots faster, therefore it, it's just better. Your damage and how fast you kill people is going to be really determined by fire rate and damage. If they have the same damage and one gun has a higher fire rate, that's going to be the better weapon to use. So I would recommend using the AUG. If you guys haven't used a similar loadout, like you weren't using the M16 last season, you haven't used these burst weapons at all, they're incredibly good at medium to long range. Even if someone is only showing a pixel, like if they're head glitching, you can pick them off with this AUG just fine. There is recoil, but it's very minor and very easy to control at range, especially when compared to something like the CR-56 AMAX. You're going to be much more consistent with the AUG, and I'm someone who loves the AMAX, but these burst weapons are insane at range. I'm sure you'll see a lot in the gameplay that I pick people off of rooftops very easily. I'm not sure which gameplay I'm going to be using, but... Oftentimes I drive around in a car, someone might be peeking one of those red roofs that are in promenade, and we can just jump out and gun them and get rid of them so much faster than they expect. These tactical rifles, I'm actually very surprised they buffed the AUG. I thought they would nerf the AUG and the M16 and the FFAR coming into the season because a tactical rifle and the FFAR is just such a ridiculously versatile loadout. You have your AUG for medium to long range. It dominates anything other than like a sniper, I guess, at very long range. But even snipers you can put down very easily because of how consistent and accurate you can be at range. But you have your AUG for medium to long range, and then you have your FFAR which dominates close to medium range, and you're just incredibly lethal, and you have a top tier weapon for every range. If you think of something like the AMAX in the FFAR, while those weapons are good, the AMAX doesn't dominate long range as much as the AUG does, so it's not like you are like, you don't have a top tier weapon for every range. You kind of dominate close to like medium longish range, but at those really long range shots, that's where the AMAX's recoil is really going to be problematic. And that's where these tactical rifles still excel. And they have basically no damage drop off. It kills in seven bullets, regardless of range. Um, gunning people out of cars is pretty easy once you get used to the bullet velocity. There's just like so many little things that makes this AUG FFAR loadout like actually insane and one of the best loadouts in Warzone currently. Like I already said, I thought this was the meta last season, so the fact that they buffed the AUG coming into this season was actually a huge surprise to me. So I'm going to let the loadout show, I'm going to show you guys what attachments I'm using and why, and that's going to be it for this video. If you guys did find it helpful or informative, remember to give it a like, subscribe, follow me on Twitch, and I'll see you guys another time. Thanks for watching. So here's going to be the class setup for the AUG. 
We're going to have the infantry compensator, the strike team barrel. This improves your fire rate as well as your bullet velocity. So it's a really, really good barrel to have on these burst rifles. The axial arms 3x, the 45 round drum mag, and the field agent foregrip. Once agency suppressor is fixed, it will be the go-to attachment. It's currently bugged. I will comment on this video and pin it when they do end up fixing this attachment. And this is going to be what you're going to want to use. And then I'm also using the precision reticle. I like this precision reticle a lot on the burst weapons, the AUG and the M16. I think this is the way to go. And then for the FFAR, I'm not super sure if I'm like 100% on this build, but I've been using the takedown barrel. I like it a lot. You get better bullet velocity and strafe speed. The SFOD speed grip, the 50 round speed mag, the Raider stock is, is the stock to use on the FFAR. This improves your sprint to fire time as well as your strafe speed. It's really important to have this if you're going to want to use the FFAR as your close range weapon along with another assault rifle. And then I have this SOF target designator uh, just to have it on, to be honest. Once they fix agency silencer, I will be going to that. But once again, it's bugged. So that's going to be the build for the FFAR. This may end up changing. I might end up switching the barrels out later on, but this is what I've currently been using and what I'm going to be using in the gameplay for this video. Be advised, UAV is bingo fuel. Be advised, UAV is bingo fuel. I need fuel. recon on my Are position. For resupply. UAV entering the oh, AO. I think I'm going to go to this fire station. This guy just got ghost. Oh, he's in that burst, actually. UAV is bingo fuel. RTV for resupply. One of the things I dislike about solos in this game is I feel like at this point, moving here, it's just very much in my interest to not fight anybody, and I don't like that. Enemy dropping into the AR. Where was his lethal? He just didn't even have a lethal equipment. Or did he throw it at me? I don't remember. There's players over there without ghosts previously. Gotta be somewhat careful with ammo here. Both my weapons use the same ammo type. Like the only time that really matters, I feel like, is when you have to deal with a Bertha because they have so much HP. I wanna make sure all these doors are shut down here. Okay. We have to move a bit, but uh, there was like two players up there previously. They might have fought earlier in this, so there might only be one now, but like... They have to move before me. So it's good blue. We can actually chill in this room, I think. The zone kind of sucks, but I do have an airstrike if anyone tries to hold me. I don't know if I want to use my car or the Bertha. The Bertha offers better protection, but... I made it weak, so it might not Enemy actually UAV be that good. What is he? Extra airstrike here. Oh, I can't swap my airstrike for his. That's lame. I was going to try to juggle it out of that loot pile. 1v1.
You're still in school? That's right, dude. My chat is an educational program. We do math here. Sometimes we call advanced and then like count how many people are left up. Bro, that bird made me think it was a person. I just saw movement there. Get it. What was that? 23? Oh, it's goaded, bro. Alright, we're about to first meet. Mm, no we're gonna pop off. Right. Let's freaking go, man. We're gonna get 20 points for a game, just like last time. We're gonna have a freaking crash. Kill everybody. Kill everybody. 